<laughs> hey everybody, we have breaking hysterical news from MSNBC on why Donald Trump has decided this time that he's not going to have a second debate with Kamala Harris. You know, because I like to say some comedy just writes itself. But before we get to that great story by MSNBC, let's take a second and remember, what was the first reason and excuse that Donald came up with that he wasn't going to have a second debate? Here, take a listen. That stupid ABC that did this horrible debate, those two people should be fired as an anchor. A couple of more years, they'll be fired. Yep. Good old double-faced Don. Well, you know, I'm a tough guy, but I'm not going to do it because the hosts were so unfair. Everybody's always so unfair, which is what makes MSNBC's response on this story so awesome that we're going to get to in just a second. I mean, the guy changes his reasons and excuses more often than deck chairs on the Titanic, right? It's unbelievable to me. But then again, it is almost October. So I guess pumpkin spice hair needs to come up with a new reason why he basically is going to quit because he says it's too late. Everybody already started voting. This is a guy who's against this kind of voting, and yet that's going to be his reason. That's similar to saying I'm going to run a 26.2-mile marathon, but I'm going to quit after a 1,000 feet because I stumbled for a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's what we have from Diminishing Don. And yet what's amazing is Kamala Harris is all for it. She's all for having another debate. So take a listen to what she just said, but then also catch what Donald also said originally about his performance in the first debate. Take a listen. It was like a price fighter that lost the fight. So because we've done two debates and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. Ooh, did you catch that? Did good old Donald Trump just reference himself and a prize fight for his first debate performance with Kamala? Did you catch that? That's interesting, since nearly every single legitimate poll in this country had her winning 60 to 65 percent to him. But since you brought it up, Donald, I tell you what, before I share this amazing response by MSNBC over his reason for not doing the bait now. You're going to love it. Before we do that, let's take a trip down memory lane together since he referenced fighting and go back to that time when another boxer in the middle of a fight actually quit. I think we have a new nickname for good old Donald Trump. I think we're just going to call him No Moss Donnie Duran from now on. I think we can all get down with that because that's what he's doing. He'll come up with any excuse he can possibly come up with to take his debate ball and bat and whimper off like the privileged elitist wimp that he truly actually is, which is why MSNBC's response this weekend was so absolutely terrific. Take a listen. Well, the debate is that it's just too late. Voting has already started. She's had her chance to do it with Fox. You know, Fox invited us on and I waited and waited and they turned it down. So... I'm an introvert. I want to be invited to your party. I don't want to go to your party. And that sounds a lot like what I have to say when I'm trying to find a way out. I have to wash my hair. It would be complicated. Like, I just don't know. I got to get a babysitter. He does not want to do this, Eugene Daniels. Oh, my God. I think that's right. You have what, you have what people call joy of missing out, Jomo. Um, first of all, I feel that deeply sometimes. No, I think you're right. I think, you know, you're, the thing that's really interesting about Donald Trump is you can also watch him working through things in real time. Um, and the kind of you can see the, hear the kind of conversations that he's had with folks around him, right? Um, whether he or someone else said at one point, you know, it's probably too late, right? And so working that through on stage. But let's be clear, October 22nd, if I remember correctly, is the is when the um, second debate that Kristen Welker, our colleague here, um, or our colleague at NBC did between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, right? And so we always have later debates. Like the debates always happen um, in mid to late October, kind of that final one. So it wouldn't be that abnormal for people to have started already voting. But his campaign 
the people around him know that he did not do well in this debate. I think he himself has, he's very good um, at kind of pulling out the things that are good, that, that happened that he feels really good about or that he feels like, you know, maybe Vice President Harris didn't do because he is, he's very online and the folks that he talked to, they don't um, push back on him in the same way that maybe some folks push back on their principles and, and trying to explain to them how bad things went. And so he has a different view of it. He doesn't feel like he needs to do it. But also people have to remember that Donald Trump has done this before. The um, ABC debate, he had already said that he wasn't going to do. Um, it's possible he changes his mind depending on how the, this poll and other polls as we get closer um, to that date. Um, if they change and, he, and it's looking worse and worse for him, I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his mind. <laughs> how great is that response? She even referenced hair, uh, which is my thing for pumpkin spice hair as we get closer to October. But there you have it. A wonderful response to another excuse that Diminishing Donald has come up with for not doing something that he should actually have to do when running for president. So as we get closer to this election, come on, everybody, activate Main Street. I'm Kevin E. I thank you for listening. And don't ever forget what Barack Obama said. Don't boo. Vote. And remember, it's not just a Democratic choice. It's an American one.